Thank you, Cahirlach, and, and welcome to, um, to, to the Minister. It's great to see another Gaul region here. And, um, and I know that you're very committed and in particular um, have made a recent announcement in relation to post office in Eglinton Street, which is, is to be welcomed. So I'll mention that a little bit later. Um, I also think, you know, as has been mentioned, the, um, in the interdepartmental committee itself is to be welcomed and the commitments in the programme for government. And now is really time to put those things into action because there are a lot of people all over the country who are living in fear that their local post office will close, but also the postmasters themselves and how reliant they are on the state to support them. Um, and I was thinking back to the start of the pandemic and how we, you know, we were all in Zoom and we were saying, this is great, you know, we can connect with our families and our friends through Zoom and life can go on, we can still be sociable. And it wasn't too long before things like the, the um, you know, the, the chats that we had kind of dried up or the, or the drinks that we had on Zoom dried up a little bit because it just isn't the same. You know, we can't do everything online. Um, and, and I think that that if we think back to that, we can really put ourselves in the, in the shoes of people who are reliant on things that are outside of the digital world for their social lives and for their services. And we need to remind ourselves of that, that progress doesn't mean moving everything online and being digital. Progress means something else and well-being has to come into that. And I was thinking as well, you know, why is it that I visited post offices so much more during this pandemic? And it's because I wasn't near family and I had to post things and I had, you know, pick up those postcards and write cards to our loved ones, particularly our older loved ones. We can continue that on now and we can see that that's actually enriched our lives. Um, so, you know, our mental health really and our well-being in general relies on post offices and other community um, places that are, that are, that are, you know, locations in reality as opposed to locations on the internet and it's important that we keep that. I think it's, it's you know, from, from the point of sustainability as well, every time you close down a post office, you have to travel that bit further. Um, and we, what we don't want to see happen is that, and it, I know it hasn't happened so far, but we certainly have seen a lot of closures around County Galway and other counties, and it has meant a little bit further each time that somebody has to travel for those. So even when we're looking at it from a climate point of view, from an emissions point of view, that's why holding on to post offices and holding on to other things and developing our town centre's first approach that certainly we've had in the Green Party for a long time is about communities, but it's also about the environment. Um, and it's why, why we must invest in rural transport. We don't say, well, how much is it bringing in it, we don't say how much our post office is bringing in, or we shouldn't, and maybe we have been doing that, but as a, as a state, we need to say it's not about what's, what's coming in, it's actually about what, what's the cost in emissions, what's the cost in people's well-being when we close these things down. The Welsh Government has this year announced that um, it has a target now, and this is, this is actually a climate target of theirs, to have 30% of its workforce at... Uh, working flexibly so that they are spending some time at home and for that reason they're investing in working hubs and it's a climate perspective that they're taking but I think that we also need to look at it in the sense of it building up our communities and having our town centres and not destroying those and now regional development of course would be the next thing when we look at the northwest region we've seen that it's moved into back down, the, back down the chain to being a region in transition. And why is that? Well, if we fail to invest in some of our regions, then that's what happens. And investment doesn't mean, show me the companies that are already there, show me the small businesses and the SMEs in these towns that are already there, and now let me put in the infrastructure and the post offices and the schools. It means, and the transport, it means having a transport first and a town centre's first approach, and then developing around that. That's why I'm supportive of Western Rail, that's why I'm supportive of post offices. But we also need to look at, if people aren't using post offices in the same way as they were, it means that we need to use them and be more creative. That, and I've mentioned the working hubs there, I think that we could put a lot more investment and look at, maybe we divert some of our 
funding from things that are damaging to the climate and divert them into something that will ensure that we bring life back into communities and protect the environment. So that might be something for the committee to look at, but certainly something for yourself to look at, Minister, as well. And I know that you have that commitment to climate as well and transport, so all of those things kind of go hand in hand. And um, lastly, I would just like to, to go back to that point that I mentioned there about the Eglinton and our Eglinton um, post office in, in Galway. Um, where we have these large kind of spaces that are no, no longer needed in the same way as they were for post offices. They can still be used and developed for the community rather than sold off or, as we've seen in Galway, sitting idle for a really long time waiting. And there have been fantastic exhibitions, as you know yourself, in the Galway Arts Festival, Tulka every year using that space or nearly every year, year using that space used for an indoor market, but investment in it so that it can be used all of the time um, and also retain that post office. Um, I think that that's the way forward for small and large post offices. Thank you.